Hey, this is Paul with Mobile Trans, and as we're always discussing on this channel, WhatsApp is an essential tool for communication and business. Lots of us use it to share and store important data, and without a doubt, it would be horrible if we lost any of it. We have a few solutions to help you keep your WhatsApp backed up without the risk of losing your data, even if you no longer have access to your phone. So in this video, we'll be showing you how you can restore your WhatsApp backups, and in our last method, we'll show you how to restore your WhatsApp backups without needing to reinstall WhatsApp to begin with. But before we get into it, be sure to subscribe and like this video so you stay in the loop with other informative videos like this one. So let's start with one of the easiest ways that you can restore a WhatsApp backup. This will be one of the quickest ways to restore your WhatsApp backups, but it has a few important requirements that you need to keep in mind in order for this method to work. You'll need to use the same Google email and phone number associated with your original WhatsApp backup for this method to work. First, uninstall WhatsApp, and then reinstall it on your phone. Next, go through the setup process as you normally would, verifying your details, including your number. If you have already created a previous backup, either locally on your device or to Google Drive, you'll see a prompt asking you if you want to restore your WhatsApp data. Selecting your backup will begin recovering your chats and data that were previously made. And depending on the amount of data that you're restoring, this can either take from a few to several minutes to complete. Once the restore process is complete, click Next. With the restore complete, all your previous conversation history should now be accessible. In addition to this being one of the most straightforward methods, what's great is, even if you don't have a backup saved to Google Drive, if you have a local one created on your phone, WhatsApp can detect it and prompt you to restore from it. This next method is a little bit trickier and only works on Android devices, but there are a few steps that you can follow along with. We can use the local backup files saved to our phone and then copy them over to another device, either as a secondary backup or to restore them to a new or even the same phone at a later time. So here's what you'll need to do. Using either the pre-installed file manager or Explorer app or any third-party one that you prefer, you will navigate to your phone's local file directory to access your WhatsApp backups that were saved to the phone. Navigate to your device's main storage and select the folder called WhatsApp. After that, navigate to Databases. This is where the backups are saved. Renaming your backups is an optional next step, but it can save you a lot of time in the future when sorting and trying to find them. By renaming our backups, we can at a quick glance recognize which ones were most recently made. However, it is very important that you do not remove or change the .db dot crypt extension at the end, as this will break the backup. From here, we can copy the backups to a computer so that they're available when we need them later. We can then copy over these saved backups to a new or old device as needed, and to do so, just copy the backup file to the same directory that we showed earlier in this step. In order to restore these backups, we will need to uninstall WhatsApp and then reinstall it from the Google Play Store. WhatsApp should only take a few seconds to find your backup. Again, if you follow the previous steps and copy the backups to the correct location, they should be found. Once they're found, click the Restore button and wait while WhatsApp restores your data to the phone. Once that is completed, all of your previous WhatsApp data from the backup should be restored successfully. And while this is a little bit more complicated, this can be a good method for people who want additional control of creating manual backups and restores. Like we said, this only works for Android devices, so if you're an iPhone user, here's another method you can try. For this next solution, we'll be using iCloud to backup and restore our WhatsApp data to an iPhone. First, let's make sure we have an iCloud backup already made. To do so, go to WhatsApp, Settings, Chat, Chat Backup. From here, we can see when a last backup was made, and we can also manually select to make a new backup so it's up to date. The next time we install or reinstall WhatsApp to an iPhone, we will be able to access the most recent iCloud backup that we created. To do so, go through the same setup process on WhatsApp as you normally would. If you have a WhatsApp backup created and saved to iCloud, you should see the option to restore your WhatsApp data from iCloud. This is a very easy backup and restore process for iPhone users, but there are a few things you should keep in mind. First, the iCloud account used to create the backup originally needs to be associated with the device you are trying to restore the data to. You also need to use the same phone number associated with the original WhatsApp backup. And lastly, and this is obvious, but you'll need to have enough iCloud storage available 
in order to save your WhatsApp backups. As we promised at the beginning of this video, we'll now be showing you a way you can restore and backup your WhatsApp data without the need for uninstalling the app in the first place. This last solution is a more feature-rich way for creating and managing your backups on all your devices. While the previous methods we shared can get the job done, our mobile trans tool has advanced options specific to WhatsApp that make backup and restoring data from an iPhone or an Android device a breeze. So let's go over how you can use mobile trans to backup or restore your WhatsApp data without needing to uninstall the app. After downloading mobile trans, open it. Click backup and restore from the home screen. Select backup from app backup and restore. As you can see, we have several supported apps, but for this demo, we are showing WhatsApp. Now connect your Android or your iPhone to the computer, and your device should automatically be detected in the left panel as the source device. The process will be pretty much automatic if you're using an iPhone, as you don't need to follow any additional steps. However, for Android users, after clicking the Start button in Mobile Trance, you'll need to interact with a few pop-up notifications on your phone's screen in order for the process to complete. For Android, these steps will prompt you to save a local WhatsApp backup to your device first. You will then re-log in to WhatsApp on your Android device and continue with the restore process. Even though there are a few extra steps required for Android users, the benefit is that you do not need to reinstall or uninstall the app in the first place. Once that finishes, the backup will be complete. Within Mobile Trans, we can then quickly find our previous backups. We can use this tool to keep multiple backups as well as use them to restore to other devices or even the same one in the future. And best of all, and I can't stress this enough, we don't have to uninstall WhatsApp to make this work. So there you have it. Those are some of the best ways to backup and restore your WhatsApp data. As we shared, if you want the easiest and most efficient way to backup your WhatsApp account without needing to reinstall the app, you can use our mobile trans tool to get it done. Thanks again for checking out this video. Let us know in the comments which method you end up using. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for other great videos like this. And until the next one, I'll catch you later.